Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we're going to take a look at Gumdrops, which is a drum machine with a big difference. Oh, so you see this interface here, we have uh, eight blocks of, of instruments here. We have toms, rides, uh, single hits here, closed hi-hats, open hi-hats, snare drums and kicks. And you will see that uh, each little uh, uh, kick has a a, a a little dot on its on its uh, its matrix, its circular matrix things. This indicates the beats in that particular kick. So, for instance, if I press play here, you see I've got a basic four on the floor going with the kick drum, some eighths on the hi hat, and just the second and the third on the snare. So basically normal. So to change this, I can just and if we want to go a bit uh, heavier there. You can see how easy it is to trigger these things off and set them the way they've got them set here. Now these ones here, that are, which are white with a green circle, are just they play the sample. Or maybe that was a bit loud. So we can go into our mixer for each of the groups, lower that down a bit, go back and. Uh, We can play with the toms. So really, I think because you've got hand for each of the groups as well, an overall volume. Different drum sets we have here. We have. Uh, this one and an e tech kit uh, I quite like this one with rock sets and stadium let's go to the pop set now you're not stuck with their samples by the way you can do what you like and of course you can adjust the BPM and the tempo and sticky mode enabled just means that if I hit toms, it'll stay on. If I disable sticky mode, back to sticky mode on. Toggle all stickies. And uh, tap and hold, right, okay, so what I was saying earlier, that these are samples. Okay, if we tap and hold, we touch any of the, uh, any of the switches here, we can turn that into just a hit. So we've got now... So you can see how get a bit of heavy metal going on there. So it's designed to be played live, so that you can. Uh, you, you know, you get to practice with this, you're going to get really, really great. I'll try a different pattern here. So there are some different beats uh, already loaded in. Okay. That so you can play with, but then, of course, you can save your own and, and do what you like. But the other cool things are here. Now, what we can do is we're not stuck with the set sort of patterns here. So for this ride, for instance... 
you can just hold this one here which is the edit pad edit and you can see that we've got uh, our options now to fill in all the uh, different places and the other cool thing is that we can just hold and draw in our velocity so you can if you've got a snare you can create a velocity ramp but you can, you can you know you can alter the velocities manually okay so let's just stop that for a sec now we're not just stuck with um, being able to we're not just stuck with being able to do that. What we can also do is if we tap and hold the pad again, so let's do it for the open hi-hats here. Yeah. Well, now it's actually, let's do it for the closed, because that's on a, an off beat. Stop that. Right. There's our sample. Uh, of course, then we can go into program our things. But let's say we want something else. Okay, well, we can import from audio copy paste. So that's cool. And uh, we can make recordings of our whole mix and we can export that as well. We can either do it with iTunes file sharing or, or go into audio copy paste, which means we can then get it into audio share. Um, but also, let me just, you can record your own samples as well. So, like I said, you can record your own samples and you can import your own samples so you're not locked into that drum kit. Now, this does some very, very cool things with this so for instance if I hit this there's our, our sample let's hit record here and uh, I, all I need to do is start recording when we press start so and then stop and we'll call that clap with two P's and okay so there it is so So there it is, but we see it needs to be trimmed now and there's background noise and stuff like that. So um, what we're going to do is just grab it there, see? And we'll, excuse me, let's back into that. We're going to grab it there. Oh, you see, it, it's me touching other parts of the screen, that's all. And that then, and we'll bring that down to there. And we're left with, sorry, uh, save trimmed, yes. Then we're left with, which is better, but could be could be even better. So we could trim it a little bit more, I think. Get rid of some of the extra. Save trimmed again. Now this is cool because <coughs> what we're going to do is, excuse me, just for one sec. Right, what we're going to do is. We're going to put this into our into our track now. Now it says apply sample to all pads in that group. Now this is brilliant, right? Because once we've done that, and we'll just escape again, you will see that now that the clap has been applied to all of these in the in the group that was the closed hi hat, if you like. So now that has replaced that sample. Also in here, you will see. That's uh, so not not there. Sorry, and somewhere else you can get to your you can get to your recorded samples as well. And I mean, be possible it might be. So ah there. Oh, sorry, excuse me. So in there, so you just hit it, hit it there, and you will see that those are your uh, samples that you've recorded, and it saves all of them as well so it's non-destructive so you can go back to your original one with the with, with before it's been trimmed you can see where it started to trim then it, it names it for you now you can also download you can download sounds from i think you can already from the kits that are already there you can swap and mix and also you can get it from uh, some of these as well so which are different things and different crashes and stuff that you could use and just import them into your into your into your section sort of thing so that's very cool so you're not locked into anything really you can get in and out whatever you like so for instance now i think that that was quite loud that clap wasn't it so we need to adjust the volume of that particular group just for now see what happens when we play Stop that snare. 
There's the clap. <laughs> the clap. you can start to build up some really really interesting stuff and like I said we could just have that one very cool indeed very cool so let's have a quick look here we have settings background audio disable sleep timer now we can run this with whist as well and use also as a midi clock so that's good here is uh, the shop. Now, at the moment, it is free. The starter pack is free, and there are no other IAPs. And then you can go there, and you can like and rate the app and stuff like that. Now, this here is very useful. This little life jacket here is your help guide. You have 19 pages of help, which takes you through everything you're going to need to know about gumdrops. Okay, and it has a very nice, slick, tiny page thing to go through everything you need to know, which is really good. I really like it. But I do like this app and I like the fact that if I, it's difficult for me because I've got the tripod here and to go around and play it probably, but you could get really good, you know, and the fact that you can record, you can record your performance sorts of things. So for instance, if we just hit record there and... Stop. And as soon as you stop, you can do file sharing, sound like, or audio copy. So we could do audio copy. And three hours later, when it actually boots up, it'll ask us to. Uh, so we'll just type in uh, test gum done and copy audio. And it's done. So let's just for now do this and this, and then open this, and let's open audio share. And go to this here, and then, not even need to bother with audio copy, let's just go from the general pasteboard, and there it is, and okay, it's too quiet, so what we can do is just normalize it now, and there it is. So you can see, you get the idea that you can, re of course, it's audio bus compatible as well, so you can record it wherever you like. Um, you can see that you can get good with it and do performances and stuff, set up the actual matrix to, to, to play any way you like. Uh, okay, guys, so there's been a quick look at uh, Gumdrops. And it's from Hanson Interactive, and it's very, very cool. Of course, again, also, you just to increase your BPM there. You can just slide that up and down. Don't forget your different modes that are available. Now, also one thing to point out that when this is playing, all this has disappeared. And I think that when you first boot it up, it's just playing. So it gets a bit, you have to stop it there for the other controls to appear. All right, guys, uh, hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, if you liked it, press the like button, subscribe to YouTube, visit the website, www.thesoundtestrooms.com. And uh, there's different ways you can help. You can donate, join our Patreon program, stuff like that, if you're feeling generous and kind. And uh, hope you've enjoyed this, and I'll uh, see you later.